My today's video is about hyperbaric chambers, the flexible portable ones which are used at home and uh, they become very hot because when the air is pressurized inside it increases the, uh, the temperature directly proportional to the increase of pressure. So it creates a lot of humidity and sweating for the patient inside and this creates some interesting problems. So today's video is about this aspect. The problem arises of heat and humidity when the air is compressed. The compressed air brings the molecules of the air together and because of the coming together of the air molecules the temperature rises up and because of this a person uh, who is using the flexible portable hyperbaric chamber at his home experience discomfort and because of this discomfort many people have left the treatment in the middle and they, and they don't get the benefit of the cure because they leave the treatment in the middle because of the discomfort caused by the home use hyperbaric chamber. A similar situation arises when we use the clinic based steel solid hyperbaric chambers because they don't have the air conditioning as well. So in order to offset this some companies have provided a device is uh, known as dehumidifier which only removes the moisture from the air and it performs a little bit of cooling because the drier air is a bit cooler than the moist air. So that solves the problem partially but it's not that comfortable with the dehumidifier. So in order to have a comfortable uh, session inside the hyperbaric chamber the requirement of air conditioning is very necessary because air conditioning removes the heat as well as the humidity and because of this the comfort level of the patient increases and he can enjoy the one hour or the two hour session while being inside the hyperbaric chamber. So many manufacturers especially Macy Pan in China has thought of, of a solution of providing an air conditioner which is an optional item and you know you have to add to the price of hyperbaric chamber the price of the air conditioning unit which sometimes is imported from another country. So this option has made the mono home use portable flexible hyperbaric chamber a bit comfortable and same is the case with the mild under 2 atmosphere uh, steel hyperbaric chambers. So th this is the uh, clinic based uh, hyperbaric chamber which, uh, with which you can see that the, there is a compressor unit attached to it so the air conditioning unit is also attached to it. The phenomena of uh, heating up or increase in temperature is explained by a gas a law which is known as Gay-Lussac's law uh, which explains how the temperature rises up. Basically this law uh, says that the pressure is directly proportional to the uh, temperature like the pressure increase the temperature increases indirectly its proportion. So P1 is equal to T1 and P2 is equal to T2. That at P1 the pressure, the, at, at P1 the temperature is equal to T1 and at P2 the temperature is equal to T2. And the volume is constant because the size of the chamber is not uh, increasing or decreasing so the volume is constant in this equation. So as you can see that uh, for example if we uh, put this uh, Gay-Lussac's law on a, uh, on a x or y axis, uh, you know, the, uh, on a graph it will look like this. Uh, as you can see uh, the 45 degrees uh, line that with each increasing pressure the temperature is also raising. If we put some 
uh, values on this uh, Gale, uh, graph uh, based on Gale-Lussac's law, you can see that if at zero degree, the temperature is zero. But at two atmosphere, the temperature has risen to 20 degrees centigrade. And at four atmosphere, the temperature is equal to 40 degrees centigrade. And similarly, at six, it is 60, and at eight atmosphere, it is 80, and at 10 atmosphere, it is almost 100 degrees centigrade, which is like the boiling point of water. So, uh, this has beautifully uh, demonstrated uh, the graph uh, based on Gay Lussac's law that the higher the pressure is, the higher would be the temperature, and the air condition is the dire necessity. Uh, inside the hyperbaric chamber. Otherwise, um, taking a comfortable treatment, especially for children and the older people would be difficult uh, because, you know, it will uh, become like a hot sauna and, uh, you know, people would be sweating and that's the reason that some people uh, stop taking the treatment. So the solution for this problem is the air conditioning to cool it down and also to remove the, um, you know, uh, moisture or the humidity. So that is possible with air conditioning having a chilling effect or a dehumidifier, which is a cheaper option, which only removes the moisture, but it does not make the air cooled uh, physically. Uh, so, you know, a slight cooling effect is observed, you know. So this is a, a portable, flexible, home-based uh, chamber, uh, which, has, which is a cooler model with a dehumidifier and it has got two, uh, you, can, you can see, um, you know, inlets going in, as you can see over there. So the, the pipe which is coming from the compressor, the uh, dehumidifier is connected to it so the compressed air passes through the dehumidifier and then it goes to the uh, hyperbaric chamber so so while being in the middle it has a fan like and a radiator like structure and it takes out the moisture this is the dehumidifier in shape uh, you can see on top the two pipes one is the inlet and one is the outlet the outlet uh, going inside the hyperbaric chamber so usually uh, some companies don't provide this dehumidifier and sometimes this is also optional. This is the air conditioner model, the same uh, hyperbaric chamber, but you can see there are like five, uh, in, uh, you know, inlet and outlet valves on the side. And these extra va valves are because of the, uh, because the two of them are being used for the air conditioner. This is the small air conditioning unit. Uh, which is uh, being shown connected to the hyperbaric chamber and you can see the LED displays uh, about the temperature and the settings, you know, uh, touch system. Uh, you can uh, increase or decrease the t temperature from the uh, controls on the air conditioning unit, small portable uh, air conditioner unit. Uh, you can see how it is attached. So this is, comes very handy because the when it cools down that hot compressed air easily. Similarly, in the steel solid hyperbaric chambers, you can see that the air conditioned one has a lower temperature and lower humidity as compared to the one which does not have the air conditioning. So this. Uh, a optional unit helps in that uh, clinic based as well as home based hyperbaric chamber. So I hope you liked my video about the air conditioning options available for the portable, flexible, home based hyperbaric chambers as well as the clinic based steel hyperbaric mono chambers because previously these options were not available and the chiller and air conditioner and the dehumidifier would make your life comfortable inside the hyperbaric chamber in hot and humid environment. If you have any question, please contact me on the social media apps scrolling down below. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel for wonderful 
videos on the hyperbaric medicine which I will be posting frequently and press the bell icon to receive the notification. So thank you once again and hope to see you soon. Bye.